rainy day the today oddly strangely warm for a december day but we'll take it not hiking this morning with the dogs we've done our chores and a uh, topic i've been wanting to talk about for a while i thought i'd do that while we're waiting for the rain to stop so we can go hiking is the doodle and the popularity of the doodle dog and the um, rise in breeders sort of succumbing to the temptation to do doodles because I get, I get inquiries for doodles a couple a week and I will never doodle. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. If I don't breed dogs anymore, if nobody wants a purebred dog anymore, I am not going to doodle. And I'm just gonna give you a few reasons why. And if you have a doodle, I'm not slamming your doodle. I'm just gonna tell you why I will never doodle. These are pure bred dogs. A doodle is a mixed breed dog. And nothing wrong with mixed breed dogs, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to make mixed breed dogs. There's a reason that dogs are breeds and that they are pure. So just to keep it simple and not make this video super long, right off the bat, let's talk about the coat. If you get a doodle, you are going to have to marry a groomer. You better find a really good one and get in line and get your dog scheduled out for the next 15 years every four to six weeks. Their coats are a nightmare. You have to understand, a dog like an Australian Shepherd has, a, is, has fur has a double coat, meaning it has a guard hair on the outside and then it has a coat of insulating fur underneath. So it's a double coat. There's two coats. So a dog like an Australian Shepherd has fur. A dog like a Poodle has hair, meaning it does not have two coats. It has one coat of hair and like hair, it continues to grow throughout the dog's life. An Australian Shepherd, the coat only gets so long and that's where it stays. A Poodle, the hair will grow 50 feet long if you don't cut it. And it grows out the toes, it grows on the face, in the ears, it's a nightmare, okay? So if you have a Poodle, that's what you expect. You expect that your Poodle is either you're a very good groomer and you're going to do all your shaving and clipping and everything yourself, make the dog look adorable and keep healthy, stay healthy, or you're going to have to have a groomer. Well, if you have an Australian Shepherd, you do not have to have a groomer. You can have a groomer if you want to, but you just keep it brushed and you, you know, that's it. But if you have a doodle, now you have taken a dog with a hair coat, a poodle, you have crossed it with a dog with a fur coat, and you really aren't sure exactly what kind of mess you're going to be in. You, you're not really sure what you're going to get. And then when they start taking the the 50% and they breed it back to the poodle for the next generation, then you're getting more and more of the poodle coat. So you really need to n realize what you're getting yourself into. And I'll tell you a quick story about a friend of mine that has a Bernie's Mountain Dog Poodle Cross. And we took it down to Falls Lake one day to play in the lake. And in, in minutes, within minutes, and, and this dog is groomed professionally, regularly. I mean, it has a very nice groomed job and they've really committed themselves to taking proper care of this dog and his coat. But we got down to the lake and, and the dog got in the sand, it got in the water, it got back in the sand, and pretty soon that curly coat, Bernie's Mountain Dog, double-coated breed like Australian Shepherd, Poodle Cross, her coat was completely packed with sand and knotted right to the skin. So they had to rush that dog in for emergency grooming and fix all that mess. So what you really do to a dog like that, you take a working dog, herding dog like this, this double coat is dirt resistant, water resistant. They get in the mud, you put them in the, you put them away or they put them whatever and they come out clean because they're self cleaning and you cross that dog with a poodle and now you have really limited what that dog's going to be able to do in its life because every time it gets into a little bit of mud, a little bit of snow, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, then you've got a grooming nightmare on your hands. So to me, right off the bat, I am not going to take a dog like this who for hundreds of years, the coat, they have selectively bred these dogs to be able to withstand harsh weather conditions 
and the coat come out like this and breed it to a poodle. It makes absolutely no sense. There's no benefit to having a dog with a difficult coat and doing that to yourself on purpose. If that's what you want, go get a poodle. So to me, that's, that's the number one problem. And the other problem is the breeders who do it. In my humble opinion, and I'm not being a pure breed snob, but I'm here to tell you that most breeders that breed mixed breeds are just in it for the money, backyard breeders, puppy mills. You can go to some of these other states where people have their own little uh, click, if you know what I mean, and they are breeding the daylights out of this dog and they're making it very convenient because they're delivering them to you and they always have puppies available. That is a puppy mill. And what they're doing is they are feeding a fad, this fad of the doodle dog right now. So I'm not gonna make this real, real long, but I want to touch on one more thing, and that is you have to look at what a dog is bred for. Even if it's just going to be your companion, when you're choosing a breed, you want to, bre you want to choose a breed that reflects what you're what you what you are like i'm very outdoorsy i'm really busy i'm always in motion that's an australian shepherd australian shepherd very busy always in motion wants to know what's around the next corner wants to go and see and do and wants to work and that's me so i'm a hard worker i'm outside i'm always busy i don't like to sit in front of the tv and you know my dogs they have downtime but they are the same as me when you're choosing a doodle, if you take an Australian Shepherd, who is a working, herding dog, you take a poodle, most people don't even know what poodles are bred for. Poodles are hunting dogs and water retrievers. So if you take a hunting dog that's a water retriever and you breed it to a herding, working dog and you mishmash that together, then there's all these voices going on in that dog's head, all these different instincts and all these different drives mishmashed together. And when I was training dog obedience classes, I had quite a few doodles come through and they were all nuts. They were all just absolutely bonkers. And people were like, wow, wow, this dog just has so much energy, it's off the charts. Well, you. <laughs> You've got this hunting drive, herding drive, dog, bred to a working, not hunting and herding, you've got a hunting retrieving dog, which is the poodle, and you have the working herding dog, which is the Australian Shepherd, and you mishmashed them together, and now the dog doesn't even know what to do with itself. So when you're choosing a breed, and a doodle is a mixed breed, a mixed breed is different than a mutt because a mutt is like you find a dog on the street and you don't know what kind of breeds it is and you do a DNA test and there's 10 breeds in there. That's a mutt. That's just a mutt. If you take a purebred registered dog and you breed it to a purebred registered dog of another breed, that is a cross breed. That is not a pure breed. It's a crossbred dog. So a doodle is not a breed. It's a crossbreed. And getting back to the breeders that do this, are they doing genetic health testing? Are their dogs confirmationally sound? Have they been proven over generations in the show ring? Have they um, done the DNA testing? Have they raised them the way that an ethical breeder will raise them with lots of socialization and lots of love and lots of early training? No, what they're doing is they're raise, cage raising these dogs in mass you go on their website, they always have puppies available, and then they make it very convenient for you. You can buy it with a credit card, we can deliver you, deliver it to you, we can meet you, whatever. That is a puppy mill, and they don't care anything about the health of that dog, the temperament of the dog, or the quality of life for the parents. So these are just a few reasons why I do not doodle, I have never doodled, and I never will doodle. So. Thanks for joining us on this rainy day and we'll catch you next video.